Alrighty guys, welcome back to your fourth video on introduction to JavaScript. I hope you guys are all doing well. Alright, so let's keep this ball moving. So how do we write something to our document, our index.html file, that we want our browser to render into text? In basic HTML, we could write whatever we want. We could just write like, hello world. We don't even need to put it in p tags or paragraph tags. It's going to be the exact same thing. And let's go ahead and open up our browser, and I'll refresh that now. Hello world. And I'll just show you that we don't need the p tags because every major browser, what am I on right now? I'm on Safari. They all have their default settings, like their default fonts, how big a font is, how far the margin is from the left-hand side, how far the padding is from the top side, what font family. This is probably like Times or Times New Roman. I, I know it's not Arial or Helvetica or another one of those more popular ones. But um, just to go, to sh just to show you guys that it's very easy to output things with HTML. But in JavaScript, it's a little bit differently. What we need to do is we need to create our script tag, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that out now. And let's make it a good habit of using our type attribute because type attribute is supported in all browsers so we can help the browser out by letting it know what what that script can be whether it's text or an application or a VB script don't worry about that now so we're gonna be cool to our browser we're gonna type in type and we're just gonna let it know that it's text forward slash Java script and let's go ahead and close that out with a, was that a greater than sign? Less than, greater than, right. Okay, so how do we want to output, some, output something in JavaScript? Well, we need to use the, the, write, the writing command called document period write and parentheses, always parentheses. And we're going to type something practice JavaScript one hour a day and you will be a pro in six months. That took way too long. I could have just wrote like have a good day or I don't know. Just put a semicolon at the end of this right there and let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go back to our browser and let's reload it. Practice JavaScript one hour, one hour a day and you will be a pro in six months. So that's how we output something with JavaScript. We use the document period write command and get used to having good coding etiquette. So make sure you have your quotations in here. Obviously we're using parentheses and not brackets or braces. And then in any programming language when you're done with the statement, you need a semicolon to close it out to let the program know that it's done or it's been executed. So hopefully you guys have a solid understanding of the text attribute as well as how we output something in JavaScript with the document with the document period write command. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about commenting out.